Up next, we take a look at some of the mega drives that turned heads recently in various categories around the world. It was party time for the Australians recently, with Daniel Ricciardo winning Monaco and almost simultaneously Will Power the Indy 500. But another Aussie shone in the Monte Carlo Harbour as well. That's Alex Peroni. I took this picture after qualifying. He just got the pole for the Renault Euro Cup race. It was difficult to talk to those guys. They were way on the other side of the harbour, so the only chance was to get down to the pit lane early and see them. And that's Alex, long hair and all, drives for MP Motorsport in Holland. He's a complete Aussie. Doesn't look like it. I went up and said, hey, Alex, I'm Peter Windsor. And he said, yeah, beauty, mate, yeah. Complete Australian, very talented. He's won twice at Poe already, so you could say a street circuit specialist, but what does that mean? It means he's got precise judgment and he's very, very good at what he does. Also at Monaco, Russian Times' Artem Markolov almost took the pole for the F2 race, got traffic in the third sector, but then most drivers have that story to tell at Monte Carlo. In the race, he was sitting there beautifully, just looking after the tyres in the early stage. There was a shunt between Alex Albon and Nick, Nick de Vries, and suddenly, Artem found himself in the lead, but it wasn't that easy because Sean Galeel had taken a pit stop in a safety car area and had, was in very good shape with his second set of tyres. Artem yet to make his pit stop, hoping for another safety car. It didn't come, and suddenly it was clear that he had to have 25 seconds over Galeel if he was going to win this race. He got it up to 27 seconds. A superb performance, looking after his tyres, a very long stint, and a lot of it due, I think, his touch and feel, and you never saw that better exemplified than going into Casino Square. A true Rob Wilson driver, he, he was training with Rob just before he went to Monaco. A superb win, a brand new chassis too. Hasn't liked the feel of the original Dallara chassis he had for the first few races, but Artem Markolov right there and winning again at Monte Carlo. And what did the Italian fans at Mugello want? They won a Ducati 1-2 on home ground, and of course that's what they got last weekend with Jorge Lorenzo and Andrea Dovizioso delivering a superb performance for the Italian team. Marc Marquez running second when he had a lose, acrobatically saved it, but only rejoined just out of the points, saying that on the harder tyres, he didn't feel quite as competitive as he had in recent races with the Honda. But a great performance, and guess what? Valentino Rossi rounding it off for the Italians with a P3. But Jorge Lorenzo, great result. We've had Inam Ahmed, the British driver, in this studio two or three times already, partly because he's very, very quick, partly because he's got such a great personality. He's driving at the moment for high tech, but it's not as simple as it seems. Over the winter, Inam basically lost his drive with Carlin, and for a couple of weeks out there, was desperately looking for the right team and the right slot. Didn't, wasn't fully funded either, unlike some of the other drivers. Daniel Tickton, good example, Red Bull money behind him. So for Inam, it was not an easy winter, but he got the drive with high tech just in time to do some decent testing, and the result was just sensational. First round of the FAA Formula 3 Championship at Poe, going in as a rookie, because last year he was racing only British Formula 3. Inam got the pole for the Poe Grand Prix and finished second in the wet, with the safety car coming out, as he said on the show a few weeks ago, just one lap too soon, so only half points were awarded. Fast forward to Hungary last weekend. In the first race, Inam qualified seventh or eighth, somewhere around there, wasn't that happy with the car, but the team made a few changes for the second and third races. Inam, in qualifying for those, was on the front row and on the pole for the third race, which meant that his second fastest time was quicker than anybody else's. And he won both of them. So this is a rookie going into FIA Formula 3, very competitive series, and already he's had two poles and two wins, and both of the wins on Sunday in Hungary, just superb. Good to see the ultra-talented New Zealanders Scott Dixon winning again in IndyCar, winning for the first time this year. And he did so in the first part of the Detroit Belle Isle Street Circuit double header. Brilliant win for Scott. Good to see Chip Ganassi Racing winning there with Scott. But on the pole for that first race, Marco Andretti. He's been in a slump in recent years, but he's done a lot of work recently with Rob Wilson. And Marco just getting better and better as the 2018 season is progressing. He didn't have a great race, but he's there on the pole. Race two, a great win for Ryan hunter Ray. Looked as if Alexander Rossi had it wrapped up going into the closing stages. But hunter Ray on a different strategy, putting a lot of pressure on Rossi in the closing laps and forcing Rossi into an error, whereby he flat spotted the tyre so much that eventually it lost its air. So a great win too for Ryan hunter Ray. Detroit comes very soon after the Indy 500. That is the shape of the IndyCar calendar. But excellent racing at the Belle Isle circuit. Moving over to Winton circuit, you may wonder why I've selected Rick Kelly for this one. Well, part of the reason is he's just won for Nissan Motorsport. 
an irony because Nissan Motorsport have just announced they're going to be pulling out of the Australian supercar series. But much more importantly, to my mind, Rick Kelly is a driver that has been flying up and down from Australia to Bruntingthorpe over the last two or three years, doing a lot of training with Rob Wilson. I go on and on about that, but to my mind, Rob Wilson is probably the best driver coach in world motorsport. And to have a, an Australian supercar driver taking that much time and trouble to go to Bruntingthorpe and then getting results, I think is worth reporting.